All right, hi guys. I'm going to make a quick video because I've had a ton of people uh, message me on the tuck harness from Eric at Mazda Speed Wire Tucks. Um, if this, if you need something like this, you need to contact Eric um, or uh, Michael Ray over at Wire Tucks West is also helping Eric take the workload off of uh, making these because Eric has been extremely backed up and I believe now Michael is also extremely backed up because he had so many orders come in um, So there is a wait list, but it's worth it if you need this harness done um, This is a tuck harness That a lot of people have run, but I don't believe I've seen a video on um, People actually showing what the features are of it. It's pretty simple um, But it looks obviously I mean here's your this, your OEM, you know, it's your coil packs will be up here. Um, it looks obviously completely different because he gets rid of a lot of stuff, cleans things up. That's the whole point of it. Um, but there are some added benefits to it. If you're going to run auxiliary fuel injection or a watt box for, um, you know, shifting stuff. Um, but anyways, so I'm just going to show you what a, because I have the OEM stuff out of the car and I have an extra injection harness for your direct injectors. Direct injectors so I can show you what it gets rid of and where it moves things to on the engine. Because um, like I said, a lot of people haven't really made a video that I've seen um, showing it. So, on your OEM harness, obviously you have your coil packs, um, your cam sensor, I believe is that, that one, and then there's a couple other little ones, a ground wire, I believe that goes down to your um, coolant temp sensor, and then this is like your OEM BTCS, I think there's like an actuator on that side. It's been a while since I've seen it because I don't have one anymore. But um, two big plugs come out on the right side of the engine over by this, is like your high pressure fuel pump would be up here. Um, and then there's your main plug on the left side of the engine, along with um, I believe that is also part of the VTCS stuff. Could be wrong. It's been a little while since I've looked at it because it's the OEM stuff. Um, and then this is your direct injection harness for your factory injectors underneath your intake manifold so you don't ever really see this but you see the big gray plug that comes up on the side that this plugs into and then obviously your sensor for your high pressure fuel rail that's what that little plug is anyways so the tuck harness instead of running everything to the left side um, it installs like this on the engine everything goes to the right side with your Here's, here's your black plug, just like the one that's on here. Plugs into your OEM harness. It's an identical plug. Um, he also gets rid of, if you want him to, most people do, um, the VTCS stuff for your tumbler valves and your intake manifold. Most people don't have that or delete it. Um, if you have an aftermarket intake manifold, they go bye-bye anyways. Um, so he gets rid of that in the harness. Um, and... There is normally an extension harness that he sends you that will run um, the um, direct injection harness will be installed in your car. Well now this harness portion is gone because it all goes to the right side of the engine. Because this gray plug is basically the wiring that fishes through here and runs down here into this gray plug for your direct injection. Well, as you can see, no gray plug on my tuck harness for the ignition coils. So he sends you normally in a, a harness that runs, um, if you don't, that it's under the intake manifold, and you'll tuck this under, it plugs in here, and it's just a straight harness that runs over to plug into, um, it basically extends, it's an extension harness of this. So it's a little sort of confusing. I mean, I have my engine over here, um, but that big gray plug would normally pop up here while you tuck it under your manifold, and there's an extension harness that runs underneath so you don't see it, and it comes up here, and it plugs into where it would normally plug into for your um, wiring harness, which I have tucked away underneath there at the moment because I'm doing some stuff. But anyways, so um, that would be normally how you'll get his harness comes with an extension piece um, so that way you don't have the ugly wiring over here on the left side of the engine anymore so clean tuck coil packs 
extension harness so you can still plug in your factory injectors obviously comes over here just like the OEM one does and then you plug everything and you're good to go so that would be just a normal tuck harness situation if you um, you know you don't have port injection or auxiliary fuel injection um, or you don't want to run a watt, bo a watt box um, the additions that you can do to his tuck harness is a watt box extension or sorry this is the factory stuff that's for like your cam sensor and um, your coolant temp sensor I believe is the other one gets tucked under the engine you can make these two little pigtails built into the harness for your um, this one is for your watt box as you can see there's a little jumper plug right there because I'm not using it at the moment moment and this would be for your um, auxiliary port injection for your extra fuel injectors that you can run for auxiliary fuel so if you're not using um, this is an added cost you can splice those in built in um, that way you don't have to cut into or reuse OEM wiring um, cut in there make splices solder crimp whatever you want to do he does it when he rebuilds this whole harness this is all brand new wiring reuses I believe some of the plugs because they're not available anymore um, but everything is it's basically brand new so you're not using you know some of these cars are 14 years old now for the speed six and three and they're um, brittle it's nice to get new stuff anyways but regardless so the additions you can get with the harness two pigtails um, for watt box and port injection and then as I said earlier they make normally you get that extension harness that would plug in here run under the intake manifold and meet up where this one is on the OEM harness because like I said before this harness doesn't have that gray plug on it because that is for your injectors so might make it sound a little complicated when I explain to it but um, he also has another option um, which I opted for because it's way cleaner um, he redoes the harness and um, it's a lot nicer as I've seen a second so instead of running the extension piece um, I believe it's another 75, I think it's 75 or 100 bucks. Um, just do it. Most people, I don't think he offers it to everybody. Um, and I don't know if Michael Ray offers it yet on his or not, but um, he redoes this harness. Because normally all the wiring is on your rail and it goes left to meet up with your stock stuff. And then, like I said, normally there's an extension harness that runs it under the manifold over here so you can plug it in. Um, I opted for his fuel injection harness for the direct injectors and direct direct injectors Which is right here so it takes place of That extension harness that he would normally make with it. So you have your It's kind of hard to lay out because it's been in the box um, But you have your See your four plugs on your OEM harness for your fuel injectors. You got one two three four for that and instead of going everything going left, it goes right. So everything will be tucked under the manifold going the right direction. Um, this is your um, that plug for the uh, fuel pressure sensor on the rail. And there's another sensor in the front of the block that this goes to that's also on there. Um, anyways, so this is just an added you know nice little thing makes it all brand new but it gets rid of that extension harness that he run and which is fine tons of people have done it not a big deal you just keep your factory harness on the injectors run the extension plug over and it would meet up where this one used to be when you have your tuck harness but I just like I said if he offers it to you just get it just do it right do it clean buy it brand new um, and he makes all this this is not like <laughs> it's all custom made by hand this stuff is He's got hours into, um, if not days, sometimes I would imagine, into making these. Because um, this is just side work for him. Um, so anyways, that is the original fuel injectors. And the tuck harness. So tucked in under the manifold, OEM plugs, everything goes to the right. New injector harness, everything goes to the right. Keeps it super clean. Um, that way you have nothing on... I don't have it installed yet, but there, there'll be nothing over here. Normally you'll have that big, you know, this is going to get tucked away over there, but normally have the big gray stuff that comes up and comes over, plugs into your coil packs and 
super ugly. Um, gets rid of all that for a lot of people that want to clean up their engine bay and tuck everything and have a new harness. But like I said, the main reason I'm doing it is obviously cleaning it, but I do plan on adding a watt box and port injection. Now the big thing with this plug for your auxiliary port injection, and I'm not sure if it works on the sixth port injection. I assume it would because it is just a port injection plug, but I'm running eighth port, which is four extra fuel injectors. Um, I'm going to toss these to the side because they are junk. And um, I will show you the world famous, as they call it, the lazy boy. Um, for everyone that does not want to splice stuff and cut in for a um, auxiliary port injection when you're adding a split second controller. This is an extra ECU that runs your extra fuel injectors on your auxiliary rail. So I have ID 1050s, um, you can run Bosch 2000s, 1000s, whatever, just whatever your tuner recommends. Most people run 1050s or 1000s. Um, and I'll talk about my port injection setup um, maybe in a different video because that's a whole separate deal. I've had tons of people message me on that, which it's a super simple fuel system, but I'm going to make another video on that and probably upload that after I'm done with this one. This is just about the harness for today. Um, but if anyone has questions, let me know. Um, but anyway, so you have tuck harness, new direct injection harness for your factory injectors. This runs your port injectors like I showed you a second ago. And let me see if I can get this laid out with one hand. Okay. So normally when you order this harness, or sorry, yes, it is kind of a harness, but it's built into the controller. You order a controller from Split Second or Graveyard or um, you can get them from Jordan at Overspeed Motorsports. Keeps them in stock. That's where I got mine. Um, I believe Eric and Michael might have them as an additional cost. They can get them for you. They're in stock in multiple places. They run between, unless you get them on sale, maybe $290, but usually $295 to $310 is kind of the range you see them in. Um, just buy them from one of the local Mazda guys that support us, like Graveyard and Jordan, and, um, you know, go from there. Um, so anyways, when you get it, it will not look like this. Um, the stuff that comes from Split Second is, like, see-through. You can Google it and look at pictures online. The sheathing that goes over this. Um, this whole harness is see-through. And I believe these are the, um, so your injectors. These are the plugs that come with it. They plug right into your IDs, or Bosch's, I believe. Same same injector, made by the same company. Um, but I believe the wires are exposed. They're that yellow, I believe it's yellow and red or whatever it is, but you'll see all these wires. They're not covered up with this tech, it's called TechFlex, um, that Eric and I believe Michael will use if Mike starts making these. I think Eric is the only one making these right now. Contact them for more info on that. But anyway, so I got the Lazy Boy. The Lazy Boy is a, you send them your controller, you pay him, I believe, 100 or 125 bucks. He redoes. Mine is a little more updated. Not every one looks like this because he's made a few of these and changed it as he's progressed, making lots of these and making them look better. Um, I believe on some of his older ones, he keeps. Mine doesn't have this. Mine's got Tech Flex now, but some of the other ones are see through. It's not a big deal. He just it looks a lot cleaner. It's nicer stuff. So he changed all that stuff out. Um, anyway, so Lazy Boy. Still got your four injector plugs. That does not change, but he splices in your um, signals to one of them is going to go to your mass airflow sensor, and the other one is for the coil packs because it needs a coil signal. Um, so he puts, rewraps everything, wires it for you, adds a plug on the end, so you don't have to cut shit. <laughs> just um, normally there'll be a little protector plug that goes over this just unplug it it's just a cap well this plugs bam right into there so you get your signal for your port injection um, I believe that's for the injector side of it because it needs a coil signal to run the injectors and then your mass airflow sensor this is another big reason I did this um, 
he puts a plug on here to plug into another cool little adapter piece right here. So this plugs into your uh, mass airflow sensor. Right here. So normally you'll have your factory harness plugs into your mass airflow sensor. I'll just plug it in so we can see it now. Clicks in. It's a little pigtail for your mass airflow sensor. And then your original harness plugs into here instead of plugging into here. And he makes this little pigtail that's built into this harness so you don't have to cut your OEM stuff. And this is for your math signal. Um, it's usually the middle wire that normally on some people have to cut their original harness, splice it in to use their split second controller to get your math signal. Well he makes, like I said, this plug. So it's all plug and play. Don't have to cut anything. Um, I'm not going to do it right now, but that plugs into there for your math signal. That's why they call it the lazy boy, because too lazy to cut wires and splice stuff. Just pay Eric the whatever, 100, 125 bucks, whatever it is, just send him this. But this will not work. Lazy Boy without it, it's only usable with his harness. So this is kind of a, a an add-on if you're using obviously using auxiliary fuel injection, but um, this makes it so it plugs right into your car. If you ever had to go back to stock, whatever it is, dude, you can just you can unplug everything. You didn't cut into any factory harnesses, um, anything like that. Makes it super nice. Like I said, you delete this. No, you didn't. You didn't cut into your math wiring signal, which is, you know, it's all sensitive OEM wiring. You don't want to cut into it. Well, he makes the harness. You can just, if you're removing it, just unplug it. Go back to OEM. No harm, no foul. You didn't cut into your factory harness. Um, as far as the watt box goes, that's real simple. This is just a splice. You know, there's a wire that goes from here to your coil packs. Um, to add a watt box, you got to cut it, and then one end will go to the watt box as a signal in or out or whatever it is the other one um, basically completes the circuit and it the watt box will cut the coil packs between shifts that's what everyone loves in the you know shoots fireballs um, things of that name for flat foot shifting so he has the pigtail built in and when you're not using this is important if you're not using this yet like I'm not I need to wire in my watt box still but um, he makes a little jumper wire because you have to have a complete signal going from here through here um, so he cuts it he's got one wire go or didn't cut anything really but makes the wiring goes up if this is not plugged in you won't get any signal to your coil packs and won't run so you just plug that bad boy in until you need it um, and then when you do need it he will send you a plug that plugs into this so you splice or uh, you can he can send you two different versions there's the crimp version which I opted for not a huge fan of soldering. Obviously, Eric doesn't solder any of his stuff. It's all crimps. Um, I can't remember what kind of crimp it is now. I think it might have a brain fart, but um, it's like a barrel crimp, if I remember right. But anyways, I just offered the crimp. It sends you everything to do it, um, and you can make your own little plug on the end of your watt box. Which, either way, there's only two wires for that. The watt box is a whole other story. That you will have to do some um, splicing into the vehicle. But as far as getting the signal from this side of the harness um, he just sends you a plug with it. it makes it real nice I think you only need like a power ground um, there might be another um, another wire you gotta cut into as well I haven't done it yet it's been a while since I've even looked it up so anyways um, that's just kind of a quick little video on his on his tuck harness um, like I said, it makes it super nice, super clean. Everything comes out of the right side of the engine, tucked away. Hides all the bull crap, makes it all plug and play. Um, this right here, depending on where you live and shipping and stuff, it's probably a $500, $500 deal. I believe the harness with all that stuff added to it is $275. I think this is another $100. And this is like another $125. So... Um, like I said, you don't have to do this if you're not going to run port injection. If you just want a clean tuck harness and you're not running a watt box or anything, it is a little less money. I can't remember what the addition is for the, um, everything's on his website, but can't remember what it costs. It's not that much to add these. 
Um, it might be two tw 25 bucks a plug or something. I can't remember, but you don't have to have those if you just want to run your have a clean tucked harness look where for your coil packs you can have just the coil packs the two way in plugs the ground wire you don't need those pigtails it plugs right in then you'll have your extension harness underneath it cleans everything up but most people do the full thing um, and run the extra stuff so anyways if you have any extra questions let me know I'll make another video on my um, eighth port so you guys can see how simple that fuel system is um, and uh, let me know if you have any questions have a good one.